What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Just wanted to do this quick little uh, a chat to everyone on, on YouTube here. Just about something that uh, I've been thinking about quite a bit. It's been playing on my mind for a few weeks now and I think I'm sort of still still thinking about it a lot. So really just wanted to get your opinions. But as you can see here, we got the 1FZ back for the Turbo 1FZ 80 series finally. So look forward to seeing that in the near future. Should have some more content coming out on that very soon. But anyway, uh, the purpose of this video today is actually to talk about, I've been thinking for quite a while now about changing the name of the channel uh, and actually going sort of a, a same direction, same everything pretty much, just, just a new name for the, the channel and see where we go. So I suppose where to start with explaining why or how, you know, why I want to do this would be to start with how the name first came about to start with. So we'll start there. So the name Leprechaun Laboratory sort of just came about um, for lack of a better idea at the end of the day. That's pretty much the only reason it really came about. At the time I was sitting on some content I sort of just wanted a unique name. Like I wanted a name where there's no mistaking it. You know, there's only one. <laughs> uh, you know, if you Google it, it comes up. There's nothing else that comes up. And at the time I was racking my brain trying to find a good idea. Uh, and back then as well, the channel uh, originally it didn't, it wasn't intended for it to be only car things. Back then when I first started the channel, I sort of wanted the channel to be a bit of everything. At, ta at that time I was still really into PC gaming. Um, I was trying to get back into writing a lot. Uh, and this was all sort of prior to me actually finding out that my arm was broken again and going through all, all that again, which for those of you who were there at the start, you would have seen that. But essentially what happened is uh, do, car, the car thing sort of turned into, you know, my job and it's sort of just where the channel headed and we've almost ended up doing exclusively car content. I still have other stuff I want to do along the way, but for the most part, it's, it's just car content. We've ended up starting the business and it's gone this way. You've all been along for the ride. So to start with, it wasn't meant to be just cars and so I wanted a name that would sort of resonate for, for anything and pretty much you know we're, we're of Irish heritage so Leprechaun Laboratory came about and um, as whack as it was I didn't really care I still on some levels really don't care but I just figured you know the, the channel will make the name the name doesn't make the channel Lep Lads was unique Leprechaun Laboratory was unique. Uh, no one else had it. I couldn't, you know, you Google it, you couldn't find anything. So I was like, screw it, I'll take that. And I was in a sort of a rush at the time because I had a lot of content I wanted to get at, but I wanted to start the channel under a good name. Obviously this channel's existed since like 2007 under a different name where I was just throwing writing vids. But when I decided to actually start doing a bit of YouTubing and vlogging and stuff, I wanted a new name and, and went that way. So that's how the name came about. I've never been attached to the name. The name doesn't mean anything to me. Um, I've never actually really even particularly liked the name, but it worked at the time. I just kept going with it and I always maintain that attitude of the channel will make the name, the name doesn't make the channel, and for that reason I really never cared. And so on some levels I still, I don't particularly care that much. I've got nothing really against the name Lep Labs, just the way things have gone as you've seen. We've started this business which is great, it's um, pretty much self-sufficient now, it's trucking along by itself. The YouTube obviously helps a great deal with the exposure for this business, but uh, through word of mouth, we pretty much get enough work to sustain the business we have here. So, you know, I've started the parts shop as well, and the parts shop somewhat really does rely on the exposure it gets through this channel. And then obviously I rely a fair bit on merch sales for the channel, and then obviously whatever money I can make from YouTube is a bonus, it's an added bonus. So. Sort of where this came about with me deciding that I want to look potentially into changing the name is, uh, you know, over time I've, I've, thought, <laughs> I've managed to think of a lot of better names that I wish I would have named the channel to start with. I've got one in mind that I think is a really good name. I don't want to go sharing it and stuff as of yet because I haven't bought the domains or anything like that and I don't want to, you know, I, I don't want the wrong people to see it and snake it from me. So I don't want to go blurting out what the channel's what I want to change the name to really until I'm ready to do it, if, I, if I'm going to do it, that's what this video is about. But I figure probably a better name, a shorter name, something that is more obviously to do with cars and more fits the channel content now, I figure it would probably do better for the channel and it would definitely be better to market. So Leprechaun Laboratory, let's not sugarcoat it, it's a pretty whack name. For most of you who have been around for a while and watched the channel, it probably doesn't mean anything to you, it doesn't trigger anything for you because you're used to it, you know what it is, you watch the channel. But for a lot of new people, 
UCA Leprechaun Laboratory and like what the hell does that what does that mean it's also really freaking long it's hard to spell for most people it doesn't really resonate it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything it doesn't have a meaning and then the abbreviation lep labs a lot of people sort of know us as lep labs know me as lep labs you know again it has no real meaning at all same thing you tell someone who's never seen the channel before about lep labs and they say what the freaking hell is that what does that mean so you always get sort of the same response from people it doesn't really you know, it doesn't sink in, it doesn't hit, people forget it straight away. That's pretty much what I found. And it, it makes it a pretty hard to market. Not to mention that seriously, Lep Labs, it, it sounds like it's named after an STD. So <laughs> I, I don't blame people for not really wanting to wear merchandise with, uh, you know, something on it like Lep Labs, which sort of just looks like the name of an STD. And for most people, it doesn't, they don't know what the frick you, you're wearing. They don't, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really resonate. It doesn't make sense on any sort of level. So I figure that probably the name Leprechaun Laboratory and Lep Labs is potentially holding the channel back a little bit. Uh, it's, I think, holding us back from our ability to market the channel and to market the merchandise. And I do believe that under a better name, I potentially would probably sell more merch. It doesn't help that I'm not very creative. So, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm hoping to get to a point where I can actually start paying for some decent designs for merch. but. I am very, very not very good at graphic design or anything of the sorts. So my apologies for that, guys. But basically what I'm getting at is I reckon that this new name or a new name change would allow me to market the channel better. I think it would allow me to sell more merch. And I think overall it would propel the channel better to what I want to do. You know, I think it would give us a bit more of a solidified uh, grounding in, in, I suppose, the scene as far as, you know, a name that sort of has a bit more to do with what we're actually doing here. So I know a lot of people have wanted me just to call the YouTube channel the the business on some performance. I guess it makes sense on some levels, again, seeing as for the past 12 months especially, this channel has pretty much only become filming what we do here. Uh, that is not the intended <laughs> uh, purpose of the channel. I don't intend for this channel always just to be what we film here in the shed. It just so happens that in the last 12 months, you know, with my son being born, starting the business, uh, for me, it's sort of, I've had to be head down, ass up and just working. Uh, that's all I've really been able to do to get through this sort of period. It's, um, you know, uh, trying to start a business right when you have a baby is not the best idea, but obviously with COVID and everything else that went on, I sort of had to go that way. So um, I've had to really only been able to work. So I make content of anything I can. And for the last 12 months, it's just been pretty much the work. But I do intend once... I'm a bit in a bit better financial position and we're going along a bit better. I do intend for this channel to be, you know, more stuff. I want to get to more events. I want to do a lot more other things as well. Uh, so I don't intend for this channel to always just be what we do here at Onsong. And for that reason, I've always wanted to keep it a little bit separate to give me that sort of creative freedom to make content that I want to make, but not have it be completely attached to the business here. So although I think it's probably a pretty good idea and I can understand why people would want me to name it just the cha, the, the business, considering the way the content's gone over the past 12 months, um, it's not the way I want to go in the future. So I would still like to keep them separate, but uh, I do believe this new name would be definitely a good way to go. So, you know, as much as I'd love to sit here and tell you, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day and I don't care. Um, the fact is uh, at this point, I sort of am reliant on um, not so much just the channel, but on the exposure the channel gives me for my other business. This is how I support my family, keep a roof over our heads, keep food on the table. So on some level, I really do have to think of this as, you know, from a business perspective, I need this to work out and I sort of need it to do better. Uh, you know, while I've been sick, I've had a lot of time to think about the content. Uh, I'm really going to put a lot more effort into um, the content in the coming couple of months. I think I've sort of, I've done a lot of uh, reflection and watching other people's channels and stuff like that while I've been ill. And I've sort of really been able to see, I think, where I've been putting too much energy where I shouldn't be and where I've not been putting enough energy where I should be. And I think over the next couple of months, I'll really be able to revive this content and um, really bring it back from sort of where it is, which is where I think it was probably a bit stale. Uh, and like I've always said, for the, for the actual projects and the actual work we do, there is no reason that what we do wouldn't do very well in YouTube. It's just a matter of me making sure the content is up to par uh, of, of the building or the builds that we're doing. So basically we've had a bit of a restructure lately of the business. We're moving sort of everything under one roof, so you call it. It's a pretty good opportunity now for me to maybe try this new name change, take it in a new direction, try and do better really. Um, hopefully try and sell a bit more merch and do a bit better for myself and hopefully sort of propel this channel a little bit sort of 
further. Not, not that I'm upset or at all with how it's gone over the past 12 months. The growth over the past 12 months, considering how I feel like the content has been, uh, has been amazing. It's been really good, but I know that I can do better. So now that we're sort of trucking along here at Onslaught Performance pretty well, you know, making enough waves that I can support myself enough, I can really feel like I can put a bit more energy now into the content over the next couple of months and, and try and make it happen. And we've got some pretty cool builds coming up and stuff. So I feel like it's probably a pretty good time fairly soon to do this, this name change. Um, as much of a pain as I know it's going to be to change everything, I know it's going to be easier sooner than rather than later. You know, it's something that I've been thinking about for a while and I figure if I'm going to do it, it's going to be easier the sooner I do it. It's pretty much where I'm at. So obviously Lep Labs will never be forgotten. I'd probably still sell a couple of shirts for Lep Labs for anyone who was interested. Uh, and you know, it's, it's always going to be where it started. It's always going to be a very big part of it. But I just feel like it's limiting our ability to market and um, sell merch and that sort of thing. So that's pretty much where I'm at. That's what I wanted to make this video about. I want to know your opinions. Do you believe it would do better? It, it, again, like I was saying, it's hard for people who have been watching the channel for a really long time because to you guys, you know what Lep Labs is. So, you know, if someone says Lep Labs or Lep Labs Laboratory, you know what it is straight away. Uh, but it's pretty much for the for the greater audience or the people I'm trying to reach, the new audience, and also for people who want to buy merch. I feel like a new name would be better suited to, to both those things. So uh, I just wanted your guys' opinions, what you think, whether you think it's worth going through with it. Obviously, you guys are the people who watch the content, so I do value your opinion. So that's pretty much what I wanted to make this video about was, what do you guys think? Do you reckon we should go change the name or do you reckon we should just keep going with Lep Labs and hope that the channel does well enough to carry the name to a point where it is recognizable. I, I don't know. I don't know what way to go about it. I'm sort of pretty stuck on it. I really do not particularly like the name. Um, and I really do think that this, this new idea that I've got for a name would do better. So yeah, that's where we're at. On the subject of pretty much the content over the past couple of months, I think basically my biggest shortfalling is that I don't put enough uh, effort and time into editing and I think the biggest problem with that is because I edit when I get home from work so I go to work and I put a lot of effort into filming which means I always am thinking about filming I think I over overthink it a lot I end up over explaining I end up repeating myself and I think it makes the content very hard to watch <laughs> and then I go home and I'm editing at home while you know I'm at home with the family so I'm trying to smash through I'm trying to rush through. I've got distractions so I'm not putting that much effort into it I'm smashing it together and basically most of that of me repeating myself and what's happening is slipping through the cracks in the editing process. And I think that's pretty much what I was talking about where I think I'm putting too much effort into trying to film too much or explain too much and not enough effort into trying to edit in a way that uh, makes the content easy to watch uh, or easy to consume. So that's what I'm really gonna try and work on. I really wanna set myself up an office somewhere I'm at the point with Ensemble Performance and with the shop as well that I sort of need an office at this point. So my plan is to try and set up an office. I'm going to try and stop overthinking, explaining the content too much and try and, again, do more visual explanation, explain through the, the filmography rather than just me yapping like I am right now. And I want to start trying to edit before I go home. So try and edit in the office where I've got no distractions. I can actually put a lot of effort in. Um, try and get that done before I go home and obviously biggest thing is to stop I'm gonna stop trying to put pressure on myself to get heaps of content out for a long time there I was trying to do like four or five videos a week. I'm gonna try and get away from that I'm gonna try and put more effort into trying to do maybe two videos a week. Um, you know, I'd rather do Quality of quantity is what I'm getting at. I had um, Broken Sylvia actually we're in a, a group chat of YouTube is he, he said something uh, a little while ago that really really resonated with me and he was pretty much saying that you need to offer content that has value to the viewer and there's basically three things uh, and that's either you know knowledge or information um, entertainment um, or inspiration so and though those that what he said there it really resonated with me um, and I think that that's really a big shortfalling with where the content's been the past 12 months where uh, it's just me. Rex sort of took a step back because he didn't really, he got sick of being on YouTube, um, trying to drag it back into a cricket and screaming. So, but for a long time, it was just me in the shed. So your entertainment's sort of out of it because, you know, I've got no one really to, to bounce off. There's no back and forth. There's not really any banter. Uh, I do find always videos where I am with other people and there is banter do better because there is more entertainment. But for the most part, when it's just me like this, there's not a lot of entertainment value. The information value is there. Uh, but again, I usually overthink it, over explain it, repeat myself like I've just done now. 
<laughs> and a lot of the stuff that I've been filming in the workshop lately uh, for the past 12 months has just been stuff over and over again. You know, it's, it's another tune. We're having another fuel pressure issue. We're having another, you know, it's, it's the same stuff you've already watched. So it's getting stale in that regard as well. And inspiration, I've found that it's probably pretty hard to, to develop inspiration from us doing customer work. Um, I, I feel like I offered a lot more inspiration back before we started the business when I was building my own cars with, uh, you know, trying to do really budget builds out of the shed. It's a lot of stuff that could inspire viewers to do it themselves because most of it's stuff that they can achieve themselves. So basically I'm focusing on these three things over the next couple of months, making sure that we have some entertainment value or if not, there is at least some good information value that is presented in a really good way that's easy to watch and easy to understand and hopefully over doing some of our own builds over the next couple of weeks, things like the, the Barra VS and stuff that's coming up. Um, hopefully we can, uh, you know, offer a little bit of inspiration to the viewer as well. So that's where I think the short fallings for the content has been. Like I said, we've got some pretty cool builds lined up. There's no reason that these builds wouldn't do really well on YouTube. I just got to make sure that the content is up to par and I'm really putting the effort in there. So I feel like if I could, you know, rebrand, Pretty much start from scratch. Like I said, we're gonna move all the businesses under one roof, me and Rex, make it a bit easier for ourselves to follow, to, you know, to keep track of everything and do everything. So, you know, to rebrand and move the channel to the new sort of corporation sort of deal, and then really put the effort into these next couple of months of getting, getting the, I think, I'm hoping that this would just snowball and we could do a lot better. So anyway, that's where I'm at with it. I'm sorry that this has been exactly what I just talked about, a video that doesn't really offer much in the way of those three things. Uh, but it is just something that I really wanted to ask you guys, the viewers who already watch, who are already part of Lep Labs, what you guys think. I've done my best to try and explain exactly where I'm coming from and why I want to go down this route and why I've never really been, never really been attached to the name or anything. So please let me know your opinion. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for putting up with my babbling all the time. And uh, I'm really looking forward over the next couple of weeks or a couple of months, I should, I should say. Um, 2021 is very much exciting me. Uh, it's been a crap start to the year with me getting so sick, but it's given me this time to reflect and really have a break, which I, I needed. Um, I haven't had a break in a long time. So I feel like I've got a clear clear head now, exactly where I want to be. Not doing that drive has really allowed me to, I think that drive was really messing with my head. So I feel like I've got my head somewhere that it hasn't been for a long time and I'm feeling really good over the next, for the next sort of year. So just, yeah, anyway. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Peace out. See you. Bye.